time we discussed that one of the most important ideas we need to recognize in order to become free on Passover is the understanding that right now we are not free. We are slaves to our arrogance, to illusions, to certain concepts that are holding us back from living the way we truly wish to live. All of this is represented in Torah by Chametz. Chametz is that entity that we cannot eat and not even own on Passover. Technically, it's anything made of the five grains, wheat, barley, spelt, oats, or rye, that comes into contact, unmanipulated with water, for 18 minutes or more. So that would be bread, crackers, cereal, even beer and scotch. None of that can be eaten all eight days of Passover. And it is all representative of our ego and arrogance. Just think for a moment of Wonder Bread. Big, puffy, very little substance. You can squish it up, it's pompous. It looks big, but really it's not big. On Passover, we look at that and we say, you know what? Out with that, in with the matzah. Matzah, water, flour, bake real fast. Back to basics. If we want to be free, we've got to get back to what's truly important in our lives. Anyway, so we spend this time period before Passover searching out the chametz, clearing it from our homes, clearing it from our hearts. And then, the night before Passover, usually, it's going to be Thursday night this year, we will take a little piece of hummus, put it in 10 bags, and have our children or someone else hide those 10 bags around our homes. Then after nightfall, we will take a candle, turn the lights on, and search out for that hummus. This is, a, this is a ritual that symbolizes the searching of our souls to remove our ego, our arrogance, and any kind of hummus that is inside of us. After we have those 10 bags of chametz, we'll gather any other chametz that we have, any other bread or leaven, cereal, crackers, take it, and the next day before noon, we open a fire, we light a fire, and we burn it. This idea that we're destroying the chametz. If you want to do an interesting exercise, you'll write down all the things that are holding you back, your ego, your arrogance, your confusions, your illusions. Take that while you're burning the bread, and burn those illusions with it. Set yourself free from those concepts. Then we go into Shabbos. This is the Shabbos that precedes Passover. In the days when the Jews were in Egypt, it was called Shabbos HaGadol, the Great Sabbath. What did the Jews do to make it great? They gathered a, a lamb, that, which was the deity of the Egyptians. The Egyptians used to worship this lamb, brought it into their homes, and said the Egypt, to the Egyptians, in a few days we're going to slaughter this lamb as our Paschal offering. Now, of course, if you were to do, go to India and say to them about the cows, hey, I'm going to take the holy cow and slaughter the cow, well, you might not make it out alive. The reason it's such a great shop is, is because the Egyptians were powerless to do anything to the Jews. The Jews took the modern-day deity of their time, they slaughtered it, and then they digested it. So what we do before Passover is we look around and say, what are the... What's the idolatrous concepts in our world? What are people with power in other than God? Money, people, situations. We're gonna take that, we're gonna slaughter. If we wanna be free on Passover, we've gotta take our chametz, recognize what it is, search for it, burn it. Look around our society, what are we putting power in? Take that, those things, identify it, and realize that on Passover night, we literally slaughter it and make those idols no more 